Hey, it's David Green Meadow Lawn Care. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about undesirable grass types and how sometimes we confuse them and we just call them all crabgrass. Today we're here taking a look at a customer's lawn. We're going to prepare to overseed in the fall. One of the things we're taking into consideration is cleaning up the bad stuff. I always like to say, you know, our goal during the spring and summer is to clean up the bad, green up the good, and then get ready to overseed in the fall and build up all in the fall. What we're looking at here is a nuts edge problem. Uh, it's just really, really pronounced. It's got this lime green color to it. It really stands up and man, it can grow. If you have a good lawn care company out there, they should be able to treat this. It's a specialty type of product. Talking to the customer, we found out that less than 12 hours ago, he mowed this. So what you're already seeing is an extra inch, two inches of top growth within 12 hours. It's incredible how this nuts edge grows. This is crabgrass. You can see how crabgrass kind of starts to grow and then just kind of lays open. It has some real stocky areas and it just really opens up. It's very pronounced, which is different than tall fescue. This is K31 tall fescue. It's a grass type that we find common in like the Virginia area or the transitional mid-Atlantic areas. Now here we have, just within arm's reach, a little bit of nuts edge. Nuts edge is this lime green grass that grows three times as fast as everything else and stands out like a sore thumb. This is controllable, this is controllable, this is not selectively controllable. If you want to control turf type tall fescue or K31 tall fescue, you got to apply a little bit of Roundup. You're going to have a brown spot, you're going to have to spot seed it at some point. Here we have a great example of bent grass. It's something that we find on putting greens and it grows low to the ground, likes being mowed low. Usually in a residential lawn, it's not getting that low mow that it likes. Um, it, it just, it, it looks like velvet and it really kind of moves across the surface. It spreads out laterally, but it's really an undesirable type of grass to have in your residential lawn because as you can see, it just stands out and uh, it, it underperforms. Well, here we have a perfect example of a roadside area that's nice and hot during the summer and that's where your weeds and your grasses, your undesirable grasses want to blow out. And this is one that we see a lot of that is actually confused a lot of time with crabgrass but it's actually called Dallas grass or paspalum, which you can see there's little itty bitty hairs on the end of this paspalum. It actually is a controllable grass uh, that lawn care companies can control with specialty products. Thank you for watching our video. Our goal is to make sure that you've got the information you need to make an informed decision. Have a great day, thank you.